Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is the last video of 2020. Did you guys ever think we would make it to the end of 2020? Me either. I wanted to do a roundup of some of the best moments that we've had this year because let's face it, 2020 was pretty before we get into the video, I want to announce the winner of the virtual design package. So if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, please do so if you want. I hit 100,000 Instagram followers and I did a giveaway for a virtual design package. So we are going to pick the winner. It is these ideal gifts. You name it, I make it. Oh, that's so fun. So she's a small business and she lives in Cyprus. Congrats, you've won a free design package. D, shoot us a DM um, over on Instagram and we'll get the ball rolling for your free virtual design package. Yay. Okay, you guys, let's get into this 2020 year in review. Okay, so I wanted to start off by giving you guys at home, on your sofas, right now, a huge, huge thank you for coming along the journey this year. I feel like my channel has grown so much and it's all down to you guys who tune in every week. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know YouTubers say this all the time, but it's really like I get to do what I do every day because of you guys, so. Thank you. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, go month by month, I wanna just um, give a little shout out at the fact that in one of my videos early, early on this year, I predicted that 2020 was going to get crazy. Carla's looking at me funny right now, but Carla, you will see that I called this at the beginning of the year. I feel like 2020 is gonna be a crazy year. No, I meant like crazy cool, but we no one has to know that. Don't mess this up for me. I also wanted to say that I don't take for granted at all that this has been a pretty decent year because I know for so many people it hasn't. So this video is more just to like spread some positivity. So many of you have wrote in these really touching messages about how my videos have gotten you through the pandemic and the year and giving you something to watch. I feel the same about so many YouTubers myself, but I thought we could come together, spread some positivity. This video is supposed to be lighthearted and just like fun and relaxing. And let's just take a trip down memory lane. So the first video of the year was Teresa's studio apartment. For those of you who don't know, Teresa was my neighbor. So Teresa has since moved out of the studio apartment Fun update, she moved in with her partner, which is so lovely. She actually texted me the, the other day and says, I miss my apartment so much. She just keeps watching the studio makeover video over and over again, which I think is hilarious. This video is almost at one million views, which is crazy, and it feels like so long ago that we shot it. Teresa's makeover is a part of the Studio Fix series, which I know you guys all love, and exciting news in 2021, we are making it our goal to come out with a Studio Fix episode every single month. So more Studio Fix episodes coming at you guys. My series, Make My Space Work, that was produced in conjunction with Shopify, started in January 2020. It was such a fun project to work on. And I'm talking in past tense because sadly, the series has come to an end. Some of you have been asking why this series came to an end and it was always a kind of limited time project. Shopify and I kind of came together to produce this series because we wanted to bring entrepreneurs new workspaces and showcase some amazing people who have amazing businesses, who are thriving and running these like small businesses on their own. To be able to bring like a little bit of color and organization into these entrepreneurs' lives was very special. And I felt really honored to be a part of that project. If you guys have not seen that series, I would highly recommend that you binge all the episodes. We did tons of episodes in that series. I will link the playlist up here for you. And hopefully in the future, Shopify and I can work together again, or maybe on my own channel, I will create a series that's more dedicated to just workspaces. Carla was the main videographer for Make My Space Work. So it was so fun to get to see her all the time and shoot these episodes. Also, I met at Chico on Make My Space Work and he has since become a fan favorite. Carla, I'll let you roll the tapes. February 
was a big month. A lot happened in February. I made over my neighbor Teresa's bathroom and you guys, this DIY that we did on her wall. So we used paint to create kind of a faux wallpaper effect. This is probably my most recreated DIY ever. I love when you guys recreate DIYs or things that I've done in my makeovers. And there's a lot of bathrooms that now have the exact faux wallpaper that Teresa's bathroom has. In February, I also took the last trip I would ever take in 2020 and I had no idea. You guys, it's 4.15 in the morning. Danny and I are going to Florida. We made it! Woo! It's so warm! I went to Florida with Danny Berger and that was such uh, it was such a fun week, especially now that like we can't travel anymore. Looking back on that trip, I'm like, oh, I so wish I was in Florida again. So Danny and I went to Target. You guys, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh. Yeah, I'm freaking out. Oh. oh. 4.02, we got here at 11. <laughs> like we legit it's spent all day. four o'clock. <laughs> We hung out at her dad's home there and swam and just like had the best time. So that was definitely a memory that I have thought back to many times this year. Also in February, I released a video talking about my stomach issues. I wanted to share this because I think it's really important and I hope that it helps other people watching, maybe going through the same thing or dealing with um, difficult comments on the internet or maybe people who are making those comments on the internet. I have to say, I was, and still am, so blown away at the messages that I still get about that video. So many of you either emailed me or DM'd me or commented on that video about also struggling with issues related to your stomach and feeling like you were not alone, which was amazing. And I certainly, after reading all of those comments, um, also didn't feel alone. So many of you have asked for an update. All I'll say is that um, I am still trying to deal with the issues in my stomach. I have changed my diet a lot and that has really helped, but it's kind of like a daily thing that I have to deal with. Let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in another video about this. I don't really know. I feel kind of weird talking about like my health. At first I was like, who really cares? But so many of you cared. So I don't know, maybe there's a maybe there's a time and place where we can all chat about it, but just wanted to say thank you for all those comments. And I still receive messages about that video. So I really, really appreciate it. This is, uh, this is Thursday morning. <laughs> okay guys, now we're moving on to March, the dreaded March, 2020. <laughs> Here in Toronto, this is the month we all went into lockdown. I feel like everyone else went into lockdown in March around the world. I really had to pivot my content and think about like what the heck I was gonna do. So I, I basically ended up making over my entire apartment again and it kind of turned into an unofficial season two of My Rental Reno. If you guys have not seen that the second season, I will link it up here. But some of the projects that I did were retitled my bathroom floor with peel and stick tile it looks so good and was so easy to do. Update, it has not peeled, bubbled, nothing has changed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has not bubbled or warped or gotten damp or anything. It is an amazing product. I can report it is still going strong. I also redid my office closet in March. So I gave it a little makeover um, and you guys loved this video as did I. And it was just so fun. And it was really fun to have, I guess, a project to keep me occupied when there was nothing else to do. In April, I started doing virtual subscriber makeovers. So I asked you guys to send in pictures of your spaces and I basically made them over virtually. So many of you guys loved this series and you still ask me to do more of these. So if you vote for more virtual subscriber makeovers, please let me know down below. If you guys didn't know already, I also offer a virtual design package service where you send in pictures of your space and I send you back a package with product suggestions, paint suggestions, layout suggestions, and you can find all of that info on my website, alexandriator.com.
In May, uh, I did an amazing virtual collaboration with Tasha Leland. It was so fun. And together we made over her entire bedroom. She has since moved, which is really sad, but it was so fun doing this project with her, even though it was virtual. So basically I sent her all the product. I designed her space. She opened each box as it arrived and everything was a surprise to her, which was so fun. Um, Tasha worked so hard to pull her bedroom together and make this a successful video. So yeah, that was really fun. And I did want to mention that at the beginning of this year, my team and I had booked a trip to LA to collab with Lone Fox. For obvious reasons, that did not happen. And we are still mourning the loss of that collab. But I really hope to be traveling more in 2021. Fingers crossed if the world, you know, goes back to normal anytime soon. So just so you guys know, I really wanna be collabing more with YouTubers and this year has just been really tough for that, but I'm glad that I got to experiment with like a virtual collab with Tasha. So now it's June, 2020 on our trip down memory lane. This was the month that we started to actually go back into people's spaces. We made over my friend Jamie's bathroom over at Eastwood Wellness Co. Jamie is my massage therapist and her wellness studio is amazing. She's a small business owner, literally opened her studio a few weeks before the pandemic hit in March. So we wanted to give back to her and we made over her bathroom to be a fun tropical style space. And Danny Bergs came to help with this makeover. It was just like a fun day. I remember it being being really fun and joyful because it was kind of like our first makeover back. Also in June, I viewed this studio back when it was a literal shell of a studio with my real estate agent, Jeremy. And I cannot believe that was six months ago because little did I know, it would be the new Team AG headquarters. I actually kind of knew because the minute I walked in here, even though it was a complete disaster, I just felt like it was right. People say you get that feeling when you walk into a home that you, that you know you're meant to buy. I got that feeling. It's funny because I was really looking for a space that was done already. I did not want to reno anything. I wanted to just like move in some really nice furniture and call it a day. But alas, that did not happen. I picked the studio that needed the most work. <laughs> I remember Jeremy calling me and he was like, hey, um, I have this space that you need to look at. I'm here right now. So I hopped into an Uber, got to the studio and I was like, yep, this is it. This is Team AG's new home. August, ooh, insert a Taylor Swift song here. <laughs> August was also a month that I look back on very fondly because during that month, we produced one of the best episodes, I think, on my channel to date, and that is Sarah's Kitchen. So we took this plain white kind of standard rental kitchen and transformed it into this. <gasps> oh my God! Yes, that's right, we did that for under six hundred dollars and I was so proud of this video because I felt like it really proved that with just a couple of changes you can make such a big difference to your space on a very tight budget and Sarah was an absolute dream to work with. Fun fact we might be going back to her cute little home in the new year to do a mini makeover in her space but for now she gets to look at this kitchen every day and I am very jealous. Domino also picked up this makeover. Being featured in Domino is just a dream. Then came September and kind of starting on a sad note, but September was the month that Harriet, my darling Harriet, passed away. She was just shy of her 17th birthday. And again, I am like blown away at the amount of comments when I announce this on Instagram of people just understanding the feeling of what it's like to lose a pet. Harriet had been in my life since I was 13. No, since I was 12 and my sister was nine. It felt super like jarring obviously to lose her. I just have like such fond memories of her. Whenever I'm sad, I just think about how much joy she brought to my entire family's life. A high point in September was making over my 
production assistant Alana's studio apartment. This was probably another one of my like top favorite makeovers I've done on my channel. It was just such a mood and like Alana's style is so specific and to be able to work with her style and create something that was neutral but also just like beautiful all at the same time was so fun. Alana's studio is also one of the fastest growing videos on my channel. Let's take it to a million people. I will link it up here if you haven't already seen it. September was also when I announced that I had leased a new studio and we started the makeover process. So I'm guessing if you guys are watching this now, you've probably seen most of the studio. The content that we've produced during these past few months have been some of my favorite. I just feel like this is the first project where I can say my whole team has been able to like come together and just create something so fun and just like amazing. How many times can I say amazing? Okay, October 2020, we're getting there. We're getting to the end of the year. So October was when I made over my sister's bedroom and so many of you guys absolutely love this video and how her bedroom turned out. I'm so glad. I was a little bit surprised to be honest because it was very minimal and my sister has a very specific style. So to me, you know, it's not the usual like bright colors, pom-poms, tassels that I normally, you know, throw into a room, but you guys loved it. And I would actually love to know in the comments, do you want to see more like minimal kind of transformations like, like Olivia's? Let me know in the comments down below. I also did my TED talk in October. I vlogged the whole day. My family happened to be here from England and they happened to have quarantined for two weeks before the TED talk happened. So I was able to see them on the day and they got to watch it live and it was just like, it was just so fun. And that's definitely, I would say, one of the biggest highlights of my year, if not like my entire career. So in November, we wrapped the studio transformations, thank goodness, right before we went into lockdown again in Toronto. It was very serendipitous. So that was a very long kind of three months of renos and organizing and a huge shout out to Alana who just helped this whole space come together. And it was such a joy to be able to work on this with her. It was a new project for both of us. We've never done something on this scale, but I feel like right now after doing it and being in the space, we feel like we can tackle anything. So if you guys haven't watched the studio reno series, go do that now. Sneak peek of the living room, as you can see. The living room episode comes out next week, I think. I think that's the next video. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. So December marks the month where a very special uh, magazine feature comes out. And a while back, a couple months ago, Shadowly Magazine actually came into my home and photographed me and my office closet. It's being published in the print issue in January. This was such a full circle moment for me. I started my career at Chatelaine, and if you had have told me two years ago, the day that I got let go with 90 other people, that two years later I would be in the magazine with a two page spread, I would have literally laughed in your face. So that was a really special moment and um, that shoot day was just, was just so fun. So to wrap up this 2020 video, I thought it would be really fun to introduce you officially to my team because in 2021, we're all gonna be working from the studio. Hopefully if lockdown lifts and we're able to work together. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to like get them together and just play a fun game. Uh, so let's roll that footage right now. Basically, I would love you all to introduce yourselves. And also I'm laughing because, well, James isn't, his, in, isn't in his bedroom, but I feel like everyone's gonna recognize your spaces. I was gonna do that too. And then I was like, is that too much? Also the lighting right now it's is beautiful. so lovely in here. It's really beautiful. Cool. Carla, you can go first. I knew you were gonna do this to me. <laughs> I'm Carla. I've been shooting with Alexandra for many years since the beginning of her YouTube career. I try really hard not to make appearances in the videos, but I'm sure you've seen me in a few videos. Carla shoots almost all of our videos and she's the best of the best. Okay, Alana and Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alana, you've probably seen me here and there in a couple of videos. Um, I've been working with Alexandra since her shadowing days. I was her assistant when she was a home editor and we've kind of just been working together ever since. Um, at Team AG, I'm the production assistant, so I help coordinate the makeovers, I help her with socials, do the newsletter. Alana, you're being like humble. Alana does kind of everything. 
<laughs> you guys are like, mm -hmm. yeah. So Elena is so really like the driving force behind this operation because if it was up to me, I would be napping every day. Um, <laughs> but Elena's like, no. We kind of work very closely together to kind of run this this whole show. James. A fan favorite? Hi, James. I too have been working with Alexandra for years. When when we started at when I started at Chatelaine and you were already there. I taught you how to have a personality on camera. Just making you redo lines over for and hours. over. <laughs> for hours. You make these videos like so entertaining to watch. Like I said, you guys are all the best of the best. So we're gonna play a game. Since we, since now you guys know more about like my team, we're gonna play a game and see how well we know each other. Oh and we all have these um, lovely photos of all of our faces. There were so many photos of James I couldn't pick. Um, okay, so let me just get out my question. What is this so, from even? I have so many pictures of you on my phone sticking up your middle finger. Oh, no, I would never do that. So this is the face that I make when Carla says something annoying, which is usually like 99% of the time. What a difference already. So first question, who is most likely to do weird things in public? Whose definition of weird? Streaking or yelling out weird things in the, like just being weird. Okay, one. Okay. Two, three. <laughs> Who is most likely to be the first one to, to die in the zombie apocalypse? One, two, three. Yes! Hundred <laughs> percent. That is so embarrassing. My backup was me, though. If that makes you feel any better. <laughs> I, I'm not going to take offense to that because I voted myself. Okay, next one. This is fun. Okay. Who is most likely to invent something useful? There's only one answer here. There's only one answer. Really? Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> you can't <laughs> wait for it. Look, she's making the face. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Alana, I appreciate that, but no, it's you. Alana is like quiet and humble and then just comes out of nowhere with these like genius ideas. Who is most likely to appear on a random reality show? This is an easy one. There's only one answer. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. All the viewers will 100% agree with that. Okay, this one's hilarious. Who is most likely to get robbed? Again, there's only one answer to this one. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! <laughs> really? You think what? I would get robbed? Why do you think I would get robbed? I mean, you can start with that answer. <laughs> well, like, I just think you would, like, leave your keys in your car or, like... That was my thought. Okay, yeah. That's accurate. Why did you guys say me? <laughs> and it was, like strictly off of that one time that we were paying for parking and it was like a random guy collecting that like definitely was not in charge of the parking lot and you're just like here's the money <laughs> okay this is hilarious and there is only one right answer who am i always chasing for either invoices receipts general just general life stuff <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so Carla is one of the most talented, creative, like amazing people there is. Can't submit an invoice for her life if her life depended on it. You can't be good at everything. Yeah, right. <gasps> who is going to be the one who is most likely taking tons of photos on the Team AG swing? Okay, one, two, three. Backwards, upside down. Yep, yep, exactly. With the slippers. Yep, yep. That's honestly the best thing you put in there. The next thing we're gonna do is trivia. So I'm gonna ask you guys some questions to see how well you know me. Uh oh. What month did I give my TED talk this year? Uh, oh. You should all know this because I talked about it nonstop. Alana's gonna get all of these right. She's Alana's really gonna get the schedule. <laughs> Alana's gonna kill this. Well, yeah. that's why she's my favorite employee. <laughs> Take that out of the video. Take that out of the video. Ooh, we don't wanna do that. Three, two, one. 
Yes. Correct. How many subscribers do I currently have rounded to the nearest 100,000? Wait, yeah. rounded to the nearest 100,000? 1,000 or 100,000? 100, 100,000, like, honey, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Number, 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 K, right? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. I know, that's very specific. Okay. You guys. We don't track your follower number. Like, <laughs> it changes every day. Let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh You're all wrong. You Hold on, hold on. Okay, nope. James is closer than anyone. It's 345. Oh, I mean. Oh. James is the closest. Alana, Alana was like shooting for the stars. Oh, that was, I know it's 345, but I- uh, You wrote oh 445. like upset. She's like, I knew this. In May, I made over a YouTuber's bedroom. Oh. Whose was it? Okay, like, wait, does name. spelling count? No. No. Sorry, sis, I don't know how to spell. I know what her name starts with, but that's literally all I know. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Nina? Tessa? It's Tasha. <laughs> what is my coffee order? Oh, oh God. <laughs> really? Wait. I know all of your coffee okay, orders. Okay, okay, okay. Three, two, one. Not tea. I, like I was saying, not coffee, tea. Latte with oat milk, vanilla latte with oat milk. I have to say Carla's the most right in this situation. Now it's my turn to see if I know how well I know you guys. I'm terribly nervous. We're at Starbucks. What is everyone's order? I know this, like the back of my hand. Okay, Carla's order is probably a blonde roast, if they have it, um, grande or venti with cream. James is just a dark, like a dark roast, like black, drip coffee? This one's a trick question because it's Starbucks and I'm a snob. So I would probably get a black Americano. Okay, okay. As opposed to filter. Alana's would be uh, just a green tea or like some sort of herbal tea, probably green tea. Yeah? Damn. How many siblings does each of us have? James has one sister. And? A nephew. <laughs> not a sibling. <laughs> Can we have another question? James has a sister and a, just one sister. That's a, you're tricking, you're trying to trick me. I have actually two older brothers as well. And I don't just have one nephew, I have four. <laughs> <laughs> Carla has three siblings, Mike, Paul and Sarah. And you know this because they call me a thousand times a day when we're shooting. All the time. Alana has one sibling, a brother. Who is Carla's best friend? <laughs> so sadly, Carla's best friend isn't me. I'm gonna say Carla's oldest and therefore best friend is Nadia. This is correct. She's gonna be so happy her name appeared in this video. <laughs> we're kind of like in rivalry because we both love Carla very much. They do fight over me. It's pretty awesome. What is my astrology sign? Oh, f I don't know. Uh, Leo? Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> Alana just got so offended for a second. I know. I'm like the opposite of a Leo. Name James's tattoos. There's one that is, that's a chair from um, an album. I don't remember her name. Courtney Barnett. There's another one on your ankle, or like your 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 leg. Is it a book or like a sun or something? Half of that was right. It's a book, right? No, that was not the half that was right. <laughs> Do you just want two? No. Oh my god, this was a hard question. Well, I feel like we know each other pretty well. We did pretty um, good. Yeah. I hope that the viewers like got to know us better. Do we do cat cameos? Where's the princess of kitty town? I have no cats to show up. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, friends. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> 
thank you for being a part of this call. It was so fun. Okay, you guys are all the best. Team AG. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, congratulations. Happy New Year. <laughs> If you've made it to the end of the video, congrats. I know this was a long one. Again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being a part of this family this year. And I cannot wait to see where 2021 takes us. And I'm just so glad and thankful that you guys are here along for the ride. As always, I will see you next week in 2021. Let's officially say goodbye to 2020. Bye 2020. Bye forever. Bye guys.